Hi guys, here I am again just thinking out loud um, about how to get what we want. Somewhere along the line, we are taught that what we want is wrong. Um, because if you think about it, as soon as we're born, we learn and know to cry when we want milk or when we want nourishment, right? Or we want attention. Um, and we get taught, no, you're not allowed to use your emotions to get what you want. That's wrong. And it's not wrong because we know we manifest in joy, um, in happiness, in love. These emotions um, are here to like be like a GPS and point us, um, you know, what are our very basic needs that what we feel is right and what we feel is wrong. So when we go through these spiritual catalysts, it breaks us down. Like you may wonder why doesn't a spiritual awakening like have to break us down so much? Because we have to get back to basics. We have to be broken down that we're starting at the very bottom, rock bottom. Below a snake's belly, if you like, but at the bottom, as far down as you can go. And it usually takes something big and painful, right, to wake us up. Because those who won't see the warning signs, who won't see the red flags, who choose to ignore them, those who, you know, can't see, must feel. You've probably heard that saying. So this is why we have to, you know, it goes back to very basics and feelings, right? So we, those who, you know, can't see it will feel it. So we have this pain that you know helps us to grow and you'll have heard growing pains you probably said to your parents when you was younger you know oh my legs are hurting after you've been playing out all day and your parents would say that's growing pains right um so because you like refused to see um the red flags the signs cautioning you then you must feel to wake up. And I know it seems like such a negative way to wake people up, but in actual fact, the divine's trying to show us how to get what we want, right? What we desire, what we came here to do, to wake up, to create, to, you know, put good into the world. So when we're stripped right back and broken right down, what's left? What's left when you've been hurt so badly and broken so badly and you feel the world is such a horrible place and there's no hope? When you're broken so low down, what's left? What's left is the way up. The only way then is up. So if you're feeling down, just know the only way is up. And where better to build a foundation, where better to build your ground zero than rock bottom. You're building on rock. So once you've built that foundation on that rock bottom, you're not going to fall down again. You're going to learn positive ways to express yourself. You're going to learn positive um, ways to read your GPS, your emotions. D does this feel good to me? If so, I'm going to follow it. Does this feel bad? I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen this time because there's no way I'm going back down there to rock bottom. I just built 12 floors up. So I'm going to listen because I'm going to protect now what I've rebuilt. So, like I was saying, you know, like when we first come here, when we're first born, we know how to get what we want. And 
I was thinking of this because my granddaughter comes to me to play. She knows to run to her daddy to get her own way, right? <laughs> and um, mummy might tell her no, but, you know, she'll run to daddy and get something else. It's just um, how children learn to get what they want from who they want, right? She knows that I'm going to run around and chase her. Maybe mum's busy. Um, so that's what brought me here today to think out loud. I hope you got something from this video, guys. I hope it's some positive information and I hope you feel inspired to start building at rock bottom. You're not supposed to lose hope because there's nowhere else to go now. The only way is up.